The last few weeks here in northern Italy, the streets have been eerily quiet, apart from this constant sound of sirens, which is these guys responding to cases of COVID-19 that need urgent care. جو بیماری ہے ان شاء اللہ ہم سب کو بالکل بھی جو بھی مسلمان ہیں ہم کو بالکل بھی نہیں آئے گی ہمارا عقیدہ اللہ پر ہے جو کافر ہیں وہ ان چیزوں کے لیے وہ یعنی کہ اس سے ڈرتے ہیں ان خوف سے at the request and needs of the Muslim community who've come to us and said, we really need to be able to um, increase the speed at which we can bury our loved ones. Allahu Akbar. One prayer for 10 people. Muslims and Jews bury the dead as quickly as possible. Guidance that's remained unchanged for centuries. It speeds the soul's ascent to the heavens, they say and opens the door for those left behind to start grieving. The images of corpses left in the streets of Guayaquil have been seen around the world. Bodies mounting while the port city collapses under the strain of the coronavirus pandemic. Mass graves for an unprecedented crisis, a scene more like a Middle Eastern war zone or the Ebola outbreak in West Africa. But this is America now, it's taking coronavirus victims. The city's morgues are reaching breaking point. At this Brooklyn hospital, body after body, wheeled into a temporary morgue, a refrigerated truck. Unlike other countries, Italy only tests patients who make it to hospital, while thousands of others remain unaccounted for. Mosques from Turkey to the Middle East, Africa and the US have suspended congregational prayers. Saudi Arabia has even completely closed its holy sites to pilgrims from around the world. But mosques in Pakistan are still open and large religious gatherings in the country were still taking place up until recently. So I guarantee that if someone has a COVID-19, then I will be afraid of it. 